Full Paris Saint-Germain family through tactical analytical breakdown of Paris Saint-Germain's what nine and a half nine out of ten performance versus Axelon. Obviously, this was the predicted lineup for Paris Saint-Germain with Gonzalo Ramos out. Asensio played as the false nine in this formation, and that was the lineup that came up. And it looked during the game more like this: Vitinha there on the left, Mbappe and Asensio centrally. So more like a four-two-four. It looked like during the game with Warren Zaire, Emery, and Ugarte playing as the midfielders then Billy holding the width on the right and obviously Axel this was their predicted lineup and this is what they pulled up with against Paris Saint-Germain let's look at the position how Paris Saint-Germain try and play so finally this game we actually played pretty much a 4-3-3 you can see the red circles there are for defenders blue circles for midfielders and yellow circles for attackers this will be important throughout the entire video but as you can see four defenders there the three midfielders there and then the three attackers up above them but one main difference that started happening throughout the game was Vitinha going to the left and Mbappe going much more centrally you can see Ugarte and Warren Zara Emre are still acting like midfielders whilst Vitinha is going out wide trying to bring the marker away from Kylian Mbappe so it's a 1v1 for him versus Gradit and this was one issue I had with Paris Saint-Germain especially in the first half we had really big issues moving the ball out of the defense when Arsenal were pressing us because only Ugarte and Warren Zara Emre were in the midfield and they had one man on them and then the attackers they were all by themselves maybe Asensio should be dropping deep maybe Mbappe should be dropping deep or I mean the most normal thing Vitinha playing as a midfielder so that's something that Lucho has to tweak with a bit during the upcoming season and upcoming games but Paris Saint-Germain still play great football and that Vitinha on the left hand side was really influential here in this attack you can see Ugarte finding Lucas Lucas finding Vitinha Vitinha puts a beautiful delicious ball to Kylian Mbappe Mbappe finds Warren shot blocked again here Dembele Asensio and Hakimi linking up you can see Asensio moving there to the right taking up space with him feeding it to Hakimi Hakimi putting in a good cross Vitinha sadly could not get but the beautiful thing here is players moving away from their markers you can see Asensio there on the width on the right side and marker can't follow him so he's all by himself Hakimi making an inwards run Dembele taking up space there and behind Mbappe on the left Vitinha centrally very interesting Ugarte had a beautiful challenge on Sotoka beautiful long ball to Kylian Mbappe Mbappe and Dembele know exactly what they do here they have been doing this in training and for the France national team so many times Mbappe gets the pause sadly could not put it between Samba's legs again here high up Paris Saint-Germain win the ball back Vitina with a great inception feeds Dembele Dembele with the cross Mbappe with the volley but Danso there with the goal line clearance but straight before the first half ended Lucas Hernandez finds Vitinha Vitinha to Mbappe Mbappe to Vitinha Vitinha runs through the middle and you can see Warren Zara Emery is already starting to run with him one two Asensio Golasso Paris Saint-Germain and we end the first half absolutely beautifully here and the chance creation how we can so quickly move the ball from the defense to attack is absolutely special the chances we've had in the two previous games is exact same and against Arsenal who were pressing us much higher it was much easier to find space in behind their line you can see here Lucas for the second goal Vitinha once again involved in the attack gives it back to Lucas Lucas to Mbappe Mbappe to Lucas Lucas to Mbappe Mbappe first time finish it's absolutely beautiful how easily Paris Saint-Germain can get the ball from the defense up until the attack in what three five seconds it's blittering counter-attack it's blitzkrieg counter-attacking from Paris Saint-Germain and Mbappe with a beautiful finish yeah again Dembele here finding Hakimi Hakimi finding Asensio, Asensio to Vitinha, Mbappe takes a touch, goes for the near post, but Samba read him beautifully. But again, how quickly we move the ball from there up until the attack. It's it's absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful from Paris Saint-Germain. Again here, Vitinha, as I said, in every attack, he starts off every attack. He has two players on him. Croquetas in between them, gives it Asensio. Asensio to Mbappe, Mbappe to Lucas. Again to Asensio, nearly a golazo. But you can definitely see the speed in which Paris Saint-Germain are getting the ball from the halfway line or the defensive line to a goal opportunity is absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane. 
insane. Hakimi once again here for the third goal. Fitting Asensio. Asensio to Fabian. It's too many players. Axelon just can't defend against this. You just can't. And Mbappe with a lucky goal, obviously. Rebounded off two defenders, but Kylian Mbappe got his second goal of the game. One thing I want to talk about is Ashraf Hakimi and Dembele. Dumb and dumber. Their decision making and their efficiency in front of goal. Mbappe here feeding Dembele with a great long ball. Dembele to Hakimi. Hakimi goes for a disgusting shot. Could have passed it to Asensio, but the shot, if he wants to take it, has to be 10 times better. Hakimi finding Dembele, tons of space, loses the ball. Error 4 or 4 in the middle of a counter attack. This is shameful. This should not be happening. Mbappe finds Hakimi here once again. Hakimi, instead of giving it to Dembele, goes for the shot, and it's a disgusting shot. It's a disgusting shot. And lastly, Mbappe Warren link up here. Absolutely beautiful. Warren feeds Dembele. Dembele all by himself. And yeah, hits the side netting outside of the goal. We just, this has to improve from both Dembele and Ashraf Hakimi. But sadly, with them being at their staging career, I don't think this is something they can improve. And this is just something that we as PSG fans have to accept throughout the season. That their decision making and their efficiency in front of goal will be disastrous. And obviously, let's talk a bit about Arsenal and what they did. They did not do anything great in this game. They got absolutely battered by Paris Saint-Germain. And they even played as a disgusting league inside picking up five yellow cards and making 16 fouls against Paris Saint-Germain this is not usually how Arcelon usually play but that's the thing Paris Saint-Germain are so good on Louis, under Luis Enrique that we are forcing teams to not play their own way they gotta play a disgusting way against Paris Saint-Germain and in that way we also cook them kill them everything this was the only chance pretty much they had in the entire game why he here Outpacing Skurina Beba, Marquino was there, and then it's an easy save for Gianluigi Donnarumma. And I'm saying I need to talk about the last goal. Again, the players need to stop giving it to Donnarumma, or we need to bring Tenas into the starting 11 because Donnarumma here gives a stupid long ball away to a throw in. They play the throw in. Hakimi gets cooked by Sotoka. No focus. Just because it's 10 seconds left, you don't have a free pass. Danilo, I don't really know why he's slide tackling there, but it was already too late. Donnarumma couldn't do that much about this deflection of Skrunia. But again, the, it, uh, this entire chance came off Donnarumma just giving the ball away. So, I mean, maybe, maybe we got to bring Tenas into the starting 11. But listen, I don't want to take anything away from this beautiful performance from Paris Saint-Germain. We played electric football. And this is only the third competitive game under Luis Enrique. I can't imagine how we will be playing throughout the middle of the season and throughout the end of the season, especially with new arrivals coming soon to Paris Saint-Germain. The defense, beautiful. 24 defensive actions from our defense today, including an assist for Lucas Hernandez and creating a lot of chances offensively. Bascarinior, Marquinhos, Lucas Hernandez and when Danilo starts on everything this defense is unstoppable one of the best in Europe if not the best the midfield oh my days Vitor Ferreira dropped an absolute mossy class in this game and as you can see by most of the chances we created he was always in the beginning of them and that's why I gave him the man of the matchup for last game he was just incredible Ugarte with another performance wasn't that much hyped because Warren and Vitinha played so good but let me tell you something Ugarte was special yeah again 23 recoveries between the three and Warren Zara Emery also had that beautiful assist and could have gotten a second assist if Dembele didn't fumble the bag. But only three chances created from Warren Zaire, Emery, and Vitinha this game. Obviously, I don't expect that from Ugarte. He had zero chances created with how deep he plays. But I expect even more chance creation from Vitinha and Warren Zaire, Emery. But it's early days. Allez, 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 Paris. And obviously, the three attackers, the front three, Dembele, Asensio, and Kylian Mbappe. What an attack. Three goals. But Dembele did not do well this game. Dembele was threatening, but that was about it. His decision making and his trans creation was not good enough. And his finishing was definitely not good enough. But he can do so much better. And I believe this is something that we as PSG fans, yet again, have to get used to. Because Dembele is this kind of a player. He's been like this for Barca. He's been like this for France. And he will be like this for Paris Saint-Germain. But the attack, I love the ascension on this false nine. I approve it. 
I approve it. And Kylian Mbappé is back. And listen, this is the only beginning of Kylian Mbappé. I'm telling you, after some games, he will be by far the top scorer in Europe. Maybe even top assist here. We need some assists from Kylian Mbappé. But I believe when the striker comes, that will score a lot of goals. When Gonzalo comes back and when Colomani is signed, Mbappé will have someone he can play make to. But this performance from Paris Saint-Germain was a great performance. But still, we can perform so much better. This was excellent. This is the top four team in Ligue 1. We have tough matches coming coming up. Obviously, Le Classique versus Marseille. We have Lyon next weekend, and we have Nice. Let's hope for great performances from Paris Saint-Germain. We got the three goals. We should not be conceding that last goal at the end of the game. But apart from that, it was a really great performance and an applaud to every single player that was on the pitch. Even though I critique Hakimi and Dembele for their performance, they still had some good moments in the game the only person i hate from the entire game was carlos soler who was invincible for the six minutes he came on from the bench that's been it for the tactical analytical breakdown of paris saint germain versus excellent let me know in the comments down below what you thought that's been it ale 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 bye